The Quest 3 is launching next month, providing AR capabilities, better resolution, better graphics performance, and a ton of new features. My job in this video is to help you make the decision on whether you should buy the Meta Quest 3. You're gonna wanna watch to the end. Some of the information might change your mind. So whether you already own a VR headset or you're buying your first one, this is the video for you. So let's get into it. Now the biggest selling point of the Quest 3 is the augmented reality. It has true depth 3D sensors and cameras to give you full color pass through. Now the Quest 2 does have AR capabilities, but it's in black and white and very limited. It's a handy feature if I'm looking for my controls or the dog walks in. Simply on the Quest 2, I double tap the side and it shows me my room in black and white. But the Quest 3 is way more realistic, giving you actual true depth as well as true color pass through. Now AR isn't new. Most new iPhones have it. The Meta Quest Pro also is heavily known for its AR capabilities. And even with Apple's Vision Pro, which they recently announced, is a great showcase of what AR is actually capable of. Now I'm going to be reviewing the Quest 3's AR capabilities right here on this channel. But until then, everyone who has used the Quest 3 so far has said it's been a great experience and it felt intuitive. So what's happening with the Quest 2 now that the Quest 3 is launching? All of the games on your Quest 2 will be playable on the Quest 3. But Meta has said that the Quest 2 is here to stay. So future games that release on the Quest 3 will be released on the Quest 2, at least for the foreseeable future. They said that the games will be playable on the Quest 2, but at lower resolutions and lower graphics. As games become more demanding and they really want to push the limits of these devices, we could eventually see within the next two to six years, the Quest 2 slowly get shimmied out of the cycle. Similar to what we saw with the Quest 1. We can't continue helping you make your decision without comparing the Quest 2 and the Quest 3. We've already discussed the VR versus AR capabilities between the Quest 2 and the Quest 3. Another factor to help you make the decision is how different actually is the Quest 2 to the Quest 3. Both devices start at 128 gigabytes. Now you can get higher gigabyte options, nothing's confirmed for the Quest 3 yet, but those are available for about $100 dollars extra. The Quest 2 uses Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR2 chip for its GPU performance. The Quest 3 will be using the next gen version of this chip, which they are promising double the performance compared to the Quest 2. The Quest 2 has occasionally come off to me as a, a bit weak on the graphics and slower on the frame rates, but the majority of the time the Quest 2 runs fantastically by itself. We even got an update recently where they even increased the performance by 25%. That's quite a big jump. I'm quite interested to see how the game devs will increase the game's performance to work with the Quest 3. Whether those older games will take advantage of the new hardware. Resolution is the next big difference between the Quest 2 and the Quest 3. The Quest 2 has a relate a relationship. <laughs> the Quest 2 has a resolution of 1832 by 1920 per eye. The Quest 3 says it's going to offer 30% better resolution than the Quest 2, letting us predict that it's going to be about 2064 by 2208 per eye. The Quest 2 already looks pretty visually sharp, not compared to the PSVR 2, but for a standalone device, it really is crisp, so I'm really interested to get my hands on the Quest 3 and see just how much more sharp the visuals are with the higher resolution. We've seen other headsets offer higher resolution, PSVR 2, even Steam VR, but we haven't seen this high of a resolution in a portable VR and AR device. That was until Apple announced the Vision Pro, but at a $3,500 price point, I don't even think it's comparable. The Quest 2 and the Quest 3 both have two to three hours of battery life and they both have accessories that allow you to extend it by double if not more which is awesome both the quest 2 and the quest 3 give you the option whether you want to use the headset stand alone or you want to use pc vr via link cable or wireless transmission the controllers on the quest 2 are great but the Quest 3 is offering a hoopless experience, no more hoops. What they're claiming as a better ergonomic design, as well as true touch haptic feedback, similar to what we saw with the PSVR 2. And of course, for the Meta Quest 2, they've just dropped the price to $299, and the Quest 3 will be available at $499. The last comparison between the two 
is that the Quest 3 is 40% slimmer than the Quest 2. This is due to the pancake lens system by Meta. We actually saw this already in the Quest Pro. As long as the performance isn't tackled by this and there's no weird weight distribution because of that, slimmer equals better. That's actually all we have to compare right now. There's other things that we can only speculate for right now, but things like weight, refresh rate, larger storage sizes and more are probably going to be likely. It would make sense for them to downgrade these things, but until we get confirmation, I'm not comfortable making those claims here on this video. So to sum it up, the Quest 3 has way, way, way better AR experience than the Quest 2, by a lot. Has a 30% increase in resolution, double the graphics performance, and 40% slimmer. Now we've just done a lot of comparisons between the Quest 2 and the Quest 3, but we need to compare the Quest 3 to some other headsets. There's a lot of other standalone experiences, Pico, Apple, HTC, even PC VR experiences like the Steam VR. Now the reason I really like like the Quest series is you're actually getting really high performance and massive game libraries for a pretty reasonable price. If you're looking for a decent enough PC to run high-end graphics for VR games, you're looking easily at spending more than a thousand, and that's being generous. As well as the PS5's VR, fantastic systems, but you've got to buy a PlayStation for 500, you have to buy the VR headset for 500, which easily comes to about a grand again. The specs that you're getting for what you're paying for definitely feels rewarding when it comes to the Quest 2 and the Quest 3. So what the whole video has come down to is should you buy a Meta Quest 3? Before I give you my final verdict, I just want to ask you guys if you did enjoy this video so far, please consider subscribing. It's absolutely free. If you're interested in tech, VR, AR, AI, all of the letters. Also, if you have any feedback about me making videos, what you like, Liked, what you didn't like, what I can improve on, please leave it in the comment section. And the last bit of self promo there is I will be unboxing and reviewing the Quest Free headset on this channel. So I recommend putting notifications on maybe your decision, not mine. Let's get back to it. Should you buy the Meta Quest Free, you get a full no strings attached, VR and AR experience that no competitors are even close to competing with in a standalone VR headset. Meta offers 500 plus games and apps on launch as they've been working on Oculus for a very long time. And to top it off, if you wanted to play PC VR, you have the option to do that. The reason why people buy console is the simplicity. Buy it, set it up, Download the games you want to play and relax. It's very similar when it comes to the quest line. Everything just works most of the time. It's super easy to set up and understand. It supplies the wow factor when you first put it on. And you get a great new experience for a reasonable price. Disclaimer, Meta don't sponsor me, okay? Very kind words from Lord Z. I wish they did. Even if I wish they did, they don't. I wrote low in the notes here. <laughs> I actually wrote. So things to help you consider whether you should buy this. Firstly, consider what your budget is. The time that you have to invest in playing or experiencing VR and AR. And what will you use it for? If you're looking for a great virtual reality experience for a good price, I highly recommend the MetaQuest 2. If you have the extra 200 to splash on slightly better graphics, performance, and AR capabilities, then absolutely purchase the Quest 3. If you already own the Quest 2 and you're not sure whether you should upgrade, upgrade? <laughs> whether you should upgrade to the Quest 3. You need to really analyze your situation. How much do you play VR? What is the quality of your play sessions? Are you willing to pay 499 for a slightly better VR experience? And is AR something that you're generally passionate about experiencing? And I can't answer that question for you as every single person watching this video is in a different situation. But do I think the upgrade is worth it? Yes. 